We conclude this current series on Texas Baptists who made a difference by spending the next two days looking at the life and ministry of Thomas Buford Maston. Our focus today is on T.B. Maston's teaching and activism. In 1920, coming from Carson Newman College in Tennessee, he enrolled in Southwestern Baptist Theological Seminary in Fort Worth. In 1923, as he was nearing graduation, he was asked by L.R. Scarborough, Southwestern's president, to stay and teach at the seminary. My dad, Jace Jones, a Maston student and friend, told the story of T.B. Maston and his family in a 1999 address that is now published on the website of the T.B. Maston Foundation at www.tbmaston.org. Dr. Maston began his teaching career in the field of religious education, but he was eventually appointed to teach courses in Christian ethics. When the Department of Christian Ethics was established, he was named chair and remained chair until his retirement in 1963. Truly, T.B. Maston, Maston transformed the field of Christian ethics into one that challenged not only students, but Christians far and wide to walk as Jesus walked. My dad wrote that Dr. Maston was not only a teacher, lecturer, and writer in the field of Christian ethics, he was an activist. He led Southern Baptists to face the racial situation and to consider the biblical teachings and principles. That took courage, for there was bitterly strong opposition to this kind of teaching and activity. One day in his office he pointed to a file cabinet. That bottom drawer, he said, is full of hate mail. You would be surprised at the language in those letters and some of the people who wrote them. This was also a time when American labor was struggling for a stronger standing. Maston's fair and sympathetic presentation of labor's needs and rights aroused opposition in some quarters. Some have called T.B. Maston the conscience of, of Baptists in the 20th century, and rightly so. In Monday's Baptist Brief, we'll focus on T.B. Maston and his family. Thank you.